Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 verse 16. Okay. Thus in process of time. So thus in process of time. What is that saying? Over time. Right? Come on. An ungodly custom. An ungodly custom. Christmas. Easter. New Year's. Labor Day. Uh, Halloween. All these things we come to accustomed to. They're ungodly. So in the process of time, an ungodly custom. Come on. Grown strong. Was kept as a law. Was kept as a law. How's how is Christmas kept as a law? What's your name, brother? Tony. Tony. Yeah. All right. How was how is Christmas kept as a law? As a law because everybody celebrates. Everybody celebrates it. All right. What about you? Everybody celebrates it. What else? Worship, worship. worship it. What else? Yeah. What else says? How's how is Christmas? Yep. Um, yep. How is uh, Labor Day? How is Easter? How is New Year's Day? How are all those things kept as a law? Break it up. How? How? Celebrate them. But how did America make it a law? When you do you have to work on that day? Break it up. Some people do, but most people you don't. Right. The, do you get mail on that day? It's closed. That's their laws. Right. Right. My enemies came up against me, they stormed and I fell. Israel, our enemies shall fall. It's war time. Take back our kingdom. Take back our crown. God in these last days is going to raise you so-called black ladies and the Spanish out of the land in your captivity. If you repent and keep his law. Who's the king? The black Messiah. The black And we thousands deep. Which one of you devils wanna bat with me? Christ smash! Yeah. On these bastards, some heathens run. Them no choice goes who never love to a steady army. Time to transform the water forever run. Giving age to woe to your soul, your spirit sunken. It's war time, Israel, don't back. your true history. Come learn about your heritage. Let's read what God called us. Oh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Oh, yeah. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. You see that? So God spake his word unto all Israel. Not nothing else. Oh, give me Joel 2 27 real quick. So we the Israelite according to the Bible. So that's why we are here to show our people who they are. You know what I mean? Because our people don't know who they are. At one point, I didn't know who I, who I was. You know what I mean? So read. Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Uh -huh. And ye shall know uh -huh. that I am in the midst of Israel. So God is saying right here. Now, De uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. God is saying at, at that scripture that what? It's in the midst of Israel. That's right. Israel. That's, that's our God-given name. That's right. All right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So are you familiar with the history of Moses? Cause that's why we, that's another reason why we are here to show our people their true history according to the Bible. That's right. So yeah. prophet, prophet Moses is right here talking to the children of Israel that what if we don't listen or do God's commandment, something is gonna happen. We're about to read it. Read to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses are these what that all these curses. So if we don't do God's law. Us, all this curse, curses is gonna come on us. Read. Break it up. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's not a good thing at all. It's a bad. It's an evil thing. So let's read some of these curses that we can relate to that came on us as a nation. Thirty-two. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So that's another reason why we have this image set up up here. So we can show the visual image of our history that happened to us. That's right. As you can see on this sign right here, on this image right here, our sons and daughters was given unto another people. Uh, give me another image real quick. 
No, no, the one about we dance so. Give me, give me another image real quick. As you can see, right here, back in slavery, we were sold. Nigga, nigga sold to Master Charles you know? in West Virginia. That's our history, and that's what the Bible is talking about. Read that part again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So, what sons and daughters was given to another people? One nation of people, sons and daughters was given to another people. Do you know? We just showed you the history according to the images that we have up here too. That's right. It's the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians. That's right. That's, that's whose sons and daughters was given to another people. Jeez. That's This is our history right here. We're reading it Come from the on. Bible. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing uh -huh. for them all the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thine hand. Guess what? Have you seen any of the slavery movies like Roots? You've seen it? Guess what? Uh, when uh, you you remember Kizzy that part where her daughter was being given to another uh, slave master? Guess what? We didn't have no power to get our daughters back, our sons back. When we was being given to another people, we was given to the so-called white man. Let's get it straight. We was given to the so-called white man and other nations too. We didn't have no military power to get our kids back. We didn't have no e economic power to uh, redeem our people back. You see that? So this is who we are according to the Bible. Give me another uh, curse real quick. Verse, my bad. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Now give me uh, 48. Verse 48, uh -huh. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent uh, the enemies against us? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Jeez. See that? It was God that sent his enemies, the so-called white men, against us. Yes, because what? Why do you think that God sent the so-called white men against us? Because we don't want to do his law, statutes, and commandments like we read earlier. That's the reason why. We in hunger. So we was going to serve the enemies in hunger. That's right. For example, if you want to go grab something to eat, where do you go uh, to grab something to eat or buy groceries? The first place next to me. Right. Who owns that grocery store? My person. Exactly. Bring it up. So that's how we serve our enemy in hunger. We and in thirst. And in thirst. Who's making uh, the the uh, the water bottles? Is your people making that water bottle? Exactly. So we're serving our enemies in thirst, we and in nakedness, and in nakedness. The shirt that you got on right now, or the clothing that you got on right now, it's gonna say what? Made in China, made in USA, made in. Taiwan, all these other uh, people that we're not related to. That's how we, you see that? That's how we serve our enemies. That's right. In what? In nakedness. We, and in what of all things? And in what of all things? Apart from uh, thirst, apart from uh, nakedness, apart from hunger. Everything else, we got to serve this enemy. If we got to take the bus. We got to serve this enemy. We got to pay them. Because they set up their bus line. We didn't set it up. Guess what else? If you uh, want, if you if you have kids, you got kids, right? So in order for you to get the birth certificate, a brother, a brother, if you got a man, come listen up. So if you got to get a birth certificate for your kids, who you, get, who you got to get permission from? Exactly. In one of all things, driver's license. Bring it up. Everything else. Jeez. Education. Everyone learning about this Bible. We got to go to the, soul, uh, the the theology school for that. But we don't do that no more. You're learning from the prophet right here. Yeah, from your right, people. Right. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Let me get that yoke of iron. So he, who's the he that the Bible is talking about? Hey, brothers. Brothers. Y'all listen up to your history. Uh, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Who, who put the yoke of iron upon our neck? This so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians. 
who did that? It was the so-called white man. That's right. So this Bible, we, 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 we can relate to this Bible because this is for us. This is our history. So according to the Bible, we're the Israelite, right? That's right. So now that you're learning that you, you're an Israelite, how much you carry yourself? Because that's not it. You know, you, you're an Israelite, that's not it. That's requirement behind that. Guess what? When I learned I'm an Israelite, I had to learn the requirement. Being an Israelite, read 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? You see that? Was God uh, requiring, requiring from us as an Israelite, as God's chosen people, as a special people? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So one of the requirements, we got to fear God. Read. To walk in all his ways. We got to walk in his ways. Many he keep his word. Read. Get out. And to love him. And to love him. We got to love God, believe it or not. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. And to serve God. So how do we love God? How do we keep his ways? How do we love God? We're going to find out. Read. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. So we have to keep the commandments of the Lord. Bring it out! So I want to go back to what I brought out earlier. I don't want you to forget. I want you to remember. Who are you according to the Bible we just uh, bringing out? Who are you? That's not what we read. Remember what we read, right? What was your nationality according to the history we brought out from the Bible? What's your nationality? You said African American. Did we read African American? What did I read according to the uh, nation? I'll give you a minute to uh, think about it. You you want me to help you out? We're, in, we're, we're the Israelite according to the Bible. I want you to know that. I right? don't forget that. I right? how you doing today, sister? All right. So we are here teaching our people and showing them who they are according to the Bible. Yeah. Let me ask you. Uh, what's your nationality? Black American. B black American. Do you know black is just a uh, it's just a color out of the crayon box, right? And then American. Do you know where that term co come from? That term American. Do you know where where it come from? Where it originally you know from? Do you know? Huh? America. American. Right, but you know somebody. You know, put out that title for for everybody else to follow that, right? Yeah. Right. So, I'm gonna give you uh, the answer straight. So it comes from the uh, Italian navigator named Amerigo Vespucci. It was the one that uh, navigated this land with right. Christopher uh, Columbus. So I think conquered the people that was on this land, um, the so-called Native Indians. He named he named this land after his name. America. Yeah. That's where that term come from. Yeah. Now you know, right? Yeah. So that's not who you are. You're not black American. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Yeah. That's that's right. Right. You got any question? You have any question? I know that one. Okay. So we're the Israelite. Is that the same thing as a Hebrew? We, we, we're the Hebrews, but you know what I'm saying? We go by different, we have been going by different names, but yeah. we're the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And I can show you that. Uh, give me, let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 uh, real quick. Um, give me 32 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. So, the reason why our sons and daughters was given to another people was because we broke God's commandment. Right. Right. It was given to us, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians. Right? So, did everybody, sons and daughters, was given to another That won't make sense, right? So, certain people daughters and sons was given to another people, right? Who would that be? So you're saying the white people's sons and daughters was given to another people? Is that what you're saying? Or the, the blacks? Exactly. So we're reading our history right here in this Bible. Now let's get Deuteronomy 101 again. Dude. 
Bring it up. Cause we the Israelite. That's why we, we all had to show our people who they are according to the Bible. Right. Right. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. You see that? When the prophet Moses spake to us through God, he spake unto all Israel, not no other nationality. So we the Israelite according to the Bible. So what I was showing the sister is, we the Israelite, guess what? We have a requirement being an Israelite, right? right. So we got a requirement. So what's the requirement that we got to do? Let's get uh, Deuteronomy 22 real, real quick, 22. So what's the requirement? What's one of the uh, laws we have to keep? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So this is going into dress code for both uh, men and women of Israel. The, the woman, first, the first black, we're going to do with both of the parts, right? First, the women should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What pertaineth unto a man? What type of clothing is an attire for a man? So what type of clothing is what? It's an attire for a man. Do you know? For a man. Pants, right? So what? Nah, that's not part of it. So what's uh, the dress code for a woman? Come on! If pants is for men, a skirt or a long dress. A long dress. That's right. The right. sister's one hundred percent correct. So, as of today, y'all learning about this law that you women are supposed to keep according to the Bible. Read that right. part again. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman is not supposed to wear what pertaineth to a man. I know the uh, clothing that belongs to a man is shorts, shorts, pants. Jeans, you know what I'm saying? All of that belong to a man. But skirts, uh, long skirt, long dress, all of that belong to a woman. So that's the law you're supposed to keep. You're supposed to keep, all right? Give, uh, keep breathing. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, uh -huh. for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Because if we go outside of our dress code, it's an abomination unto, unto our God. That's right. Abomination meaning a hateful thing. You know what I mean? So, how would you uh, react if I was putting on a dress as a man? It don't, it don't look right, right? So we gotta go according to God's laws. We gotta raise up ourselves according to God's laws. That's right, the man. First Timothy chapter two or verse nine. Uh -huh. And like men also, uh -huh. that, a w that women adorn themselves uh -huh. in modest apparel. So our woman was adorned, meaning to put on a modest apparel. That's it, right. You know, like what I said earlier, a long dress and a long uh, skirt. Yeah. That's, that's what that's women right. supposed to put on. Bring it up. When you out in the public or in the house. I read. With shamefacedness uh -huh. and sobriety, uh -huh. not with bread and hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So it shouldn't be about uh, your hair. It shouldn't be about what you, uh, the jewelry that you got on. You know and I'm saying you must look modestly. That's right. All right. Meaning to dress the right way according to God's word. That's right. All right. That's right. So another law I'm gonna bring out. Do y'all know what today is according to the Bible? Jeez. Today is the Sabbath day. Y'all ever heard about Sabbath day? That's what the word say on the Sunday. But what does the Bible say according to the, you know, his word, according to God's word, right? Yeah. So let's find out. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Y'all got phones on y'all? Phones? And it's, I don't got my phone. Okay. God is saying, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So six days, we have six days to work and do whatever else we're supposed to do the right way, right? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right. So, and, but the seventh day, you see that? God is saying the seventh day is the Sabbath day. So, what's the first day of the week? Do y'all know? Monday? Can y'all prove that though? That's what the world say, but according to the calendar, the first day you gonna you see on the phone, who got a phone on them? The first day according to the calendar, uh, on the, you know, yeah. it's Sunday. So, oh, it, it is Sunday. Right, 
So if Sunday is the first day, guess what the uh, last day of the week gonna be? Saturday. That's Read right. that part again. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, yeah. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So now you know, right? Yeah. Today is the seventh day of the week, and today is the Sabbath day. We're supposed to keep God's day holy, which is today. So how do we keep it holy? That should be your question. No, Saturday. The first day of the week is Sunday. So if you count, the second day, Monday, third day, right. Tuesday, and then the seventh day will be will fall on, on Saturday. Right. I'm gonna show you the reason why it was changed. I'm gonna show you where. Read. Bring it out. In it, Dude. thou shall not do any work. Thou shall not do what? Any work. So on the uh, on the Sabbath day, we're not supposed to work. Give me another law about the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day. That's right. Uh, buying the seller. You got brother right there. Hey brother, how you doing today, brother? Doing, All right, I'm Zadok. We're Israel United in Christ. What's your name? Tony. Tony? Tony? Yeah. All right. So we are here showing our people who they are according to the Bible. Because it's been too long. Our people don't know who they are. Our people don't know what their heritage is. So that's why we are here showing our people. Uh, read. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. So we're going into one of the high holy day we're supposed to keep, which is for us. We're going into Sabbath day, which is today. We. And if the people of the land bring where or any videos on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So according to God's word, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. And how do we keep it holy? By not buying and selling. That's right. By not working. We just right. brought, brought out that scripture earlier before you got here. And give me another uh, law real quick about the Sabbath. We're not supposed to buy and sell today. We're not supposed to uh, work today. We Bring it out. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Bring it out. And he said... And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Because guess what? We have six days to do to do all the buying and selling. Come on! We have six days to do all the work. That I work two jobs. Two jobs. Right, dude! I have six days to do that. I got to feed, you know what I'm saying, myself and my family. Guess what? Right. I got six days to do that. You know what I mean? Why am I doing that? Because I love God. Because I want to be blessed. I want to I want to rule in the kingdom that's coming. You know what I mean? And I want you all to want the same. I'm encouraging you all to do the same thing as well. We Bake that which you will bake today. And see that you will see, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So this is going into how you prepare for the Sabbath day. You know what I mean? So, because we're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. So, many what? We get out. A day before, yesterday will be a preparation day. So how, Whatever. Do, how do we come to our people? How do you what? Well, how do we come to our job and say Can you say that on the mic? How do we come to my job and say something like that? Right, that's a good question. So the sister asks, how can she do that when when it comes to her job, right? Right. Right. So uh you know what I want? Uh give me um judges. Yeah, judges. Yeah. Uh the one that say you can make a request. Or the one in Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, so according to the Bible, uh, God said, hey, talk to, you can talk to your job. I talk to my job uh, that what? I can't work on the, on the Saturday That's because right. what? I love God. I want to keep his, you know what I'm saying, his laws, statutes, and commandments. We. First John chapter 5 verse 14 uh -huh. And this is the confidence that we have in him That if we ask anything according to his will He heareth us You see that? That's a good scripture, I like that So if we ask about anything If we're keeping his law, statutes and commandments Guess what? God is going to listen God is going to hear us That's right He's going to bless right. us with whatever we want That's But right. if we still in sin you know what I'm saying? We're not going to get blessed. We're not going to get what we want. Anything is not going to go your way. You know what I mean? So we got to do whatever we have to do according to his word. That's right. That's right. So you all celebrate period and all. So your understanding is I'm saying that what? Right. It's, it's, it's different, like, like, uh, say, the king of all. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Do y'all do things like they, they don't celebrate nothing at all to the 
Right, right. So, right. So the brother is making a statement. Do we celebrate uh, holidays? Yes, we do celebrate holidays according go. to Come the Bible. Yeah. Give me Leviticus 23. Guess what? We have about 73 high holidays according to the Bible. That's more than that's more than the world holidays that they got. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna show you one. Because God says so. Not the worldly holidays, but the holidays according to the Bible. That's right. Like, for, for example, I was going into Sabbath day. That's one of the holidays we're supposed to keep. Come on, the white man word. Right. Now, give me uh, Passover real quick. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Wait, verse 5. Uh -huh. In the 14th day of the first month at even uh -huh. is the Lord's Passover. So Passover... You're not talking about like Christmas, Thanksgiving? No, no, no. That's the worldly holiday. We don't cele celebrate because guess what? It's not of God. Uh, it's off the devil. Talking about different holidays. Yeah. Like, so let me step in real quick. Give me Jeremiah 10. So you talking about uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all these other, Easter yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, he asked a question. Uh, so we're going to show you what God says about, about those days. Yeah. Read. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Oh, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So you see God is speaking to the house of Israel. Right. You are an Israelite. You are an Israelite. You are an Israelite. Sis, you are an Israelite. Alright, that's what we got to understand that God loves Israel and he only spoke to Israel from back then even to today. Alright, so he says, listen. Hear up. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them so don't learn the ways of America America teaches Christmas December 25th we all know that Christ was not born in the middle of winter we all know that he wasn't born in December 25th but we say we we celebrate that because of the kids no teach them the laws of God celebrate the laws of God you understand and then we can celebrate those high holy days so don't learn the ways of the heathen That's right. last week and what Labor Day didn't they create that but we was all probably out barbecuing celebrating all these wicked fashions but we didn't celebrate the most high God Sabbath day and he was the one who brought us through all right read for the customs of the people are vain so take a listen to this he says the customs of the people are vain he's going to describe one of the prominent customs all right brother young man what's your name Davion listen up listen up for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. Now what is that talking about? What is it talk? You 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 cut a tree out of the forest. All right. You deck it with silver and with gold. Read it from the top for the system. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. What is that talking about? One. Christmas tree. Plain and simple, right? Out of the book. And what did the Bible say? Learn not the way of the heathen. That's right. Right? Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. They fasten it with nails and hammers. What is that talking about? The tree stand. This is Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 3 we're in right now. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Uh -huh. They are upright as the palm tree. They stand it upright in the middle of the living room, right? As a palm tree. This is what the Most High God tells us not to celebrate. All these high, these wicked uh, holidays which America's put out there, we are to not celebrate those. Read. But speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. All right, give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon 16, or 14, 14. So that's explaining Christmas. That's just one of the major prominent days that we as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we go crazy over. We go out and we spend all this money at this, the stores because we want to celebrate Christmas. But God told us not to do that. So are we going to hearken to man or are we going to hearken to God? Yeah, I never got no
or a tree. Nah, always surviving the heat. Yeah, you shoot me down in the street. Hold up. I came with many, we deep. Yeah, 144 deep. Deep. Man, I done came with a fleet. Fleet. Got all my brothers with me. Yeah, I know you smelling the feet. Uh. I know you smelling the feet. Uh. You gon' be kissing my feet. Yeah, all of my brothers gon' eat. eat. All of my brothers are lit. Yeah. Yeah, I be facing the ace. ace. Wisdom and knowledge increase. Yeah. You got a minute and seconds. seconds. God is releasing the beast. Yeah. Your time is up on the lease. lease. I just pull up for the rent. Give me that. Don't be expecting no grace. Nah. You get no chance to repent. Yeah. My haters looking so bent. bent. They- this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.